Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Mechanism. So, as I said, in between cameras, uh, I tried to make this smaller. I don't think I made it smaller, um, but I have made it expandable. Um, so the two bottlenecks in this system is the chemical oxidizing of sulfur, um, which just drains itself so fast. Um, so I have um, I've stacked four of them and it's still barely keeping up, which is quite impressive really. Um, but we are making a lot, and the problem is it drains out immediately, but that's because I've used ultimate pipes and it can store a huge amount in here, which is perfect for me because at least I can backlog it then and I don't have to worry. This I haven't checked yet. Um, and then this side again goes through the uranium quite quickly. Uh, so we've got another ultimate pipes to be able to just fill up. Um, and that is kind of how we're doing it. We're burning a lot of power. Oh my god, actually, we are burning a lot of power. But we should still be gaining more than we're burning, correct? Uh, input... Uh, ooh, sometimes that output, I think, jumps to 200,000. What are we looking here? 0.4. Yeah, it's still going up. Um, and we have 16 billion to fall back on in case things go wrong. But let's hook this up now, then. Um... For the first time. Uh... Ah, there you go. You need to input gases front. Why are you not? Well, you know, do um, uranium oxide, right? Oh, uranium. Wait. Recipe for this is uranium hexafluoride, which is what we're making. Yeah. In the isotropic centrifuge. Is this a liquid? Gases? No, it has to be a gas, because it only accepts gases. Oh, this is output. There you go. We want this to be... Oh, it's already full. Shit. Um, and I don't didn't didn't realise which one was which. Shit. Uh, oh wait, okay. It disabled. Uh, enabled. Okay. I have to imagine that that is what we want. Um, so we've got ten thousand buckets of fissile fuel. Now I will state that this is radioactive currently, or is it, I know that spent, oh no, I don't think this is radioactive, because it doesn't say it's got radioactivity, so that's cool. Um, so then what we want to do is we want to store a lot of this fissile fuel. So let's get a, um, a big old ultimate chemical tank and again auto crafting for the win and let's put you here and then let's say you on the if this was input the front we want to output the back lovely and then you can be uh, yeah, but, uh, gases yeah um, output the front input the back perfect um, we need to mute this immediately. Um, can this take a silencer upgrade? Because I'd rather start using these, to be fair. Because um, I have autocraft them on autocraft. So let's just get the muffler upgrade and see what that does. Because I've never tried it. And if it's, if it's this easy just to kind of get it to be quiet, then... Oh. 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 Beautiful. Perfect. That is wonderful. If I don't have to muffle things, it feels a little cheaty sometimes. Be able to just chuck that in there, fine. And this is just ramping up. We've actually got a quarter of a million so far, and it's the hexafluoride line that is lacking. This line here. Um, and there's no real way to speed this up, because this is going as fast as it can, uh, dumping into here, so it's full. This has a hundred percent water vapor can't go any faster it is literally 
just about getting this stuff to go faster. And there's no way to speed this up other than just adding more. Um, which of course we can do. It just feels a bit annoying, obviously, to have to do. Uh, does this have any in it? Oh wow, this, oh that's, oh that's the reason I see. This is actually still chugging, but it's because this pipe is full. Um, is that actually going down? That is going down. Okay, well we, I guess we can live with that for now. We can always, as I've made it expandable, just literally just ram these up to the sky if need be. Um, we could even double stack them, so put a load here because there's space for it, and just have the pipes link in. It's not the biggest issue in the world. Uh, what I would like to do is make sure that in gases, uh, these are just all set to output and that set to input. It doesn't make a huge difference, but I would like it to be there. I mean, it's, it's consistently running. Um, only thing I'd like to experiment with is possibly using just fluorite. Um, so let's take you down, let's take you out for a second, let's take you out for a second. Because it builds up. Um, do I care about it being like that? I don't think I do. Um, what we can do is we can always chuck these in here. And that's just a auto extract down, uh, insert. Take these out, done, yeah. I also think I've got range to do this anyway, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so now we're making this. So we're, we're a million, to be fair, it's going quite quick actually. I can't super complain about that. Um, so now we need to turn our attention to building this. So my understanding, and that is where this is gonna come crumbling down, is we need a lot of these. I don't know how many, I, I maybe made too many. Um, we need some control rods, which I've made. Um, we need the casing, we need the glass, uh, we need the control rods mostly though. Where did I put the control rods? Control rods. Can you find the control rods? Come on, Barmanos. Everybody, let's... Okay. There they are. Um... So my understanding is these just go checkerboarded like this. Does that look right? I don't think that's right. I might have to look this up. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, no, I don't think that was right. I think we need this down one. Um, so basically we put the roof on this. Uh, so, I don't know if this needs a controller actually. Did I make a controller for this? Does the quest ask for a controller? No, just ports. Okay, um, that's fine. So I think you do it like this. Uh, we definitely need a couple more fusion reactor casings, or fission even. Uh, but that's fine. We can just proof of concept it for now. I think you just do this, uh, but you, it's diagonals, I think. So it's a uh, one block gap. So you do like that basically. And then like that, and then like that through and through basically to the point where it's all full and then you fill it with the rods afterwards. Um, let's do that and let's get a couple more of the walls. I've got the glass for the front because I thought it would be cool like to have glass on the front and then just like casings on the top and the bottom but we will see kind of how this plays out. As I said I've never done this before so I'm a little terrified because I know it can go pretty badly and you can just irradiate your entire land but I know also we need quite a big reactor because we're going to need um we're going to need a lot of the uh, materials that come out of it, so like um, uranium and spent uh, nuclear waste and stuff, to be able to process those those into 
other things. Uh, so then one here. I think I mathed it quite. I think I mathed it correctly though, with how many things we need. As I said, easy to make more. Um, I'll throw this whole stack over the edge to prove that point if need be. Um, we actually overmathed it, but I think that's because I've changed the size of it um, to make sure that it fits inside this. Um, I've made it slightly smaller than a chunk because I thought that seemed like the best thing and then basically these just drop down from here uh, it's a 15 by 15 I think I've gone for this is gonna be a little bit time consuming I do wish there was maybe a uh, quicker build command for this but you can't get everything I guess um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited to do this. I normally use the, what is it, the big reactors mod that's just like basically cook a load of um, coal to make graphite and then go from there. Let's also, while we're at this, let's maybe, um, oh, do you know what we could probably do is with a wand, I reckon we can whiz up the glass walls. Um, We'll see. Let's see if the wand works uh, for doing this. Because if so, oh, I think it does. It does. That'll make things a little bit quicker. Uh, we do need more of the glass, though. But I have plenty of glass. I think I've well overdone it on the glass. I built like a thousand of it because I was like, eh, it seems like the right amount. Um, but now, while we're building this, we have our fissile fuel sort of building up which is quite nice uh, we don't have to worry about setting this up and then having to try and get the fuel ready uh, this is about to break isn't it uh, wand wand we can't make the um, infinity wand yet which is a bit annoying but we have plenty of diamonds big flex uh, so then we just need one more row of you guys Ooh. Lovely. And that is most of the walls done. So now we're just left doing. Can I do this? Uh, no, I think that's going to do every block. We could try it. <gasps> Did work. Control rod assembly. Oh. Shit. Uh, it's probably just quicker to do this, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, it was quicker to do that. It's a little bit annoying. Control rod. Yeah, that's fine. We can we can fix this. Uh, we just need to make sure we get rid of the rest of these control rod assemblies. Fuel assembly, yeah. That was a big dumb. I got so excited that it worked and I was like, oh, but we've run out of materials apparently. Um, so if we put one of each onto all of these, we should be looking pretty golden. Um, and I'll check the control rods away so this problem doesn't happen again. Because I don't really want to come crawling around in this machine once it's built. Well, it takes so long, even with a goddamn red matter pick. Because we're flying. If we could just even land for a second, this would be done. Um, let's make sure we don't lose anything. We do need to rebuild this section, obviously. Uh, here, 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 here. Ah. Damn it. Try better. There we go. Uh, here, 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 here. I'm rushing now. I'm rushing like an idiot. Uh, then here, 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 here. Yeah, I think that's good. We just need to carve away at these bits, which maybe if I just do this for a second. I know that seems counterproductive, but hear me out. Oh, it's a much quicker process, as long as I can hit the ones I can see. And then I just take the one out below me. Perfect. Yeah, you can see how much quicker that is. 
that's actually probably the more effective way to have done it from the start just dig a little alcove in but that's fine we are now done uh, and we can check by basically saying we only did these three rows perfect so let's just put these away for a second and then if I put one of you on each basically that tells me that we should be able to building wand our way which means we don't have to spend an hour basically doing this uh, ding 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 one layer for the sake of like a couple minutes I think is worth it I think I could have used like a building gadget or something which would have been slightly quicker but no worries uh, ooh let's grab these bits uh, bing. Oh, I thought that was a piece. Uh, bang. Bong. Boom. So that should technically be well overestimated on the rods. That's fine. Um, so now we just need the glass. Glass. Uh, again, we've definitely overestimated, but that is fine. Uh, and this should complete the multi-block. Um, we just need to put some ports on it. Right? Does it need the ports to be considered finished? Let's have a look. Uh, we need the reactor. Fission reactor ports. Give me 10. Oh my god, that was so quick. Um, it need the ports to be considered a valid multi-block? What is wrong? We did everything. It is a large mechanism. A good idea to look up a YouTube tutorial. It does not, however, produce power itself. Uh, by itself, be aware of nuclear meltdowns. Manage nuclear waste properly. Uh, ensure there's enough coolant for water. Yeah, this... Should be it, no? I want a couple of things here. Uh, uh, do we need, wait. Just casing, yeah, assembly. Reactor glass. This should be valid, no? Aha! Here's why. There's a guy missing his rods. Oh, I wonder how frequent of an issue that is. That's going to be a little bit bad. Um, but that's fine, we can fix you. Uh, let's just then pop our heads out and maybe hope and pray. Aha! Yeah, 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 you saw the little red glow. And now this is a valid multi-block. Perfect. Um, so we want to, again, get a... What I'll do, actually, is... Because I'm a scaredy cat, we're going to, every other block, have a uh, coolant import. Because um, I don't see the need not to. Um, so we'll do, basically, one, one... One, 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 uh, then the glass again, makes it a block, perfect, and then we should be able to wrench, or is it, uh, okay, output waste, output coolant, input only, okay, so we want these to be inputs, that's fine, so we want one, two, three, four, five tanks, tank five of you we want five evertites do we have the mechanical pipes on as we do lovely uh, ever tides I want five of you which needs water and we can then just pretty much whiz through real quick this is a bit annoying that you have to craft like this but I just put those away and then I wish A would kind of just recognize this and be like, oh, you, you've got water in the system. Cool. 
um, but that's fine. It's it's not the worst. It's better than having to stand by like a infinite water source and click away. I have also stopped the system from taking in water now because I realised it would just infinitely take in water. So I've given it a little uh, redstone signal to say when we're below a certain amount, I think it's like 10,000 buckets or something, bring more water in. I don't think we'll ever need 10,000 buckets of water in the system, but it can't hurt. Okay, so that's our five done. Uh, and then we want the tanks as well that we made. Oh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> look, look guys. <laughs> you don't need to question that. <laughs> it's, it's okay. We're all, we're all mature adults. Uh, goddamn. That's a weird one. That's a, that's a bug. I would like to report a bug, please. Uh, empty. Empty. Uh, empty. And then empty. And empty. Perfect. And now we want our mechanical pipes. And we want to chuck a load of water into this. Because it needs to stay cool. Um, so then we want to configure. Shouldn't matter actually what we're configuring. There we go. 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 Uh, right. So as you can see it's rendering. Which is quite nice. And it will fill up with water very quickly. Um, now... I don't know how we want to transport these. Maybe using entanglopers would be a nice way to do it. Or one... Yeah, maybe we do actually wait. Instead we do... Uh, we want the gas pipes uh, pressurized tube. Yeah. But I want the basic ones... Give me 20 of these. And we're going to do basic tubes over to here. And then I want another tank. One of you. Yeah. And I want you to be um, clear. Output out the back, input into the bottom. Um, this will be the last thing we do. Let's just do this for now. Um, I don't really like this, but um, the other option is quantum entanglopers. These boys. Can we graph these? What are we missing? What's this need? We're going to do these instead, because I can craft them, and I think they will be the nicer way of doing it. Uh, so then we can just, instead, we can take away you, and away. Uh, and instead we can now set you here and you here. You will be set to um, fissile. Like that. Fissile. Tick. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then you will be, let's just clear you for everything for a second. I don't really want you messing with anything at all. Uh, and then you will be gases input on the left. And then you, again, we want to clear all your inputs. It does so many things. It's just like a ender tank, basically. And then we want you gases output out the top. And then we need to set you to fissile. Oh, um, 
impact out the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then... Output... Oh, wait. Input at the back. Output like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, because it all went straight in. Oh, that was not what I wanted at all. Oh, that was very quick to fill. Okay, that's fine, though. That's fine, though. What's the burn rate set to right now? Um, current burn rate. Point. One. Okay, yeah, so it's already set to that. So we can activate this. And it's fine. So it's now producing waste. And should eventually produce heated coolant. Um, but it's the waste we want. But that's fine. Okay. Okay. Right. So now this whole thing, as it said in the thing, doesn't produce power. To produce power, you want to make a big old steam turbine, um, which will then uh, go here. So we'll do another, like, 15 by 15, I guess. Um, but I might Google uh, between episodes what size is best to support this size of um, reactor. Why did the water re-render? Okay, well, that's fine. We, should, we shouldn't really have a problem with these. They should kind of just chug. They, like, this can transfer, what was it again? Um, pump rate, 32,000. So that's 32 buckets a tick, and we're doing five. And I think it's fine. It shouldn't really burn through that. Um, temperature's going down again. Lovely. And then this is still just all ticking along. Every so often it gets a burst, I guess. Because Oh, wow. Um, oh no, we are really just like absolute dead in the water in turn. Oh no, that's fine. Um, yeah, that is fine. Yeah, I mean it's it's just gonna chug along. It's it's not the worst sort of thing. I don't know what the tank is on it. Oh, okay. So this holds three million six hundred thousand buckets, which is thirty six or 3,600 buckets, I think. Um, and this is already filling up now with another 8 million, and then this will eventually fill up. Um, right, okay, that's not too bad. We're, we're doing actually all right with it. I would like to probably bulk this up, but I, I can't see a better way of doing it. How's our sulfur production doing, actually? 13k? Is it going up or down? Down at a pretty steady rate. <laughs> <laughs> we might want to um, maybe over here produce some more sulfur. That might be a nice thing to do. Because what we can do is we can input it into the white, white, white ender chest and it will go into the system and then out here. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea to try and produce another sulfur because we are currently just producing it manually now anyway. Um, if we come over here and we just have a quick look, uh, we can see that this is our sulfur production over here. Um, is it going down? Yeah, quite fast, actually. Um, do you have upgrades in you? You do. Oof. Um, I don't see why we couldn't actually... Do you... You don't dump. Um, but you dump. I'm just thinking we could almost just put another one... On top. Oh, this needs water as well. Uh, oh no, yeah, that's still doable actually. Uh, no, it's not, because then we'd be blocking that one, yeah. Um, we might just rebuild this. It's not hard to build. What is it? Uh, pressurized reaction chamber and electrolytic separator with coal importing. That's the only thing that's going to be a bit annoying because we'll have to melt our own coal. Maybe we just double down here somehow. Um, all the sides are kind of taken. Yeah, and channels wise. Well, this is awful to look at. Wait, we can find out. Um, at AE, we need one of these. Just a smart cable. Because I cannot tell how many channels we're using on this direction. I think it's about eight, though. Uh, booting, five. Yeah, well, we could, actually. Um, maybe that's what we do instead. We might look at doing that. Um, uh, well, we need the... 
um, oxygen as well. Yeah, it becomes a little tricky. Well, that's a problem for off-camera Ollie, probably. For now, um, this is actually some really good progress. Um, and next episode, we will come back and we will build the steam turbine here. And that will allow us to, um, to do our power generation. So what we can do for now is we can say uh, reactor. We craft another 10 of these for now. And then, oh, they're already made. Uh, take this. I hate doing this, but I know it's technically safe. Do this, do this, do this, do this, and do this. Uh, then we take these. And these will be our uh, output coolant. Because what we'll do is we'll take the, so basically the way it works is this gets really hot. It generates steam. Steam goes into the steam turbine. It spins. It condenses in the top. Then when it condenses, it makes water. The water you pump back into here, and then this fills up with more water. So then arguably it's a closed loop system and you don't need these. However, if you have any problems um, and the water doesn't go back at a good enough rate, this burns down, explodes, this then doesn't do anything, everything's gone. So I will always leave these here and probably what we'll end up doing is just dumping the excess water because it doesn't really make sense to keep. Um, but what you try and do is, because as this gets hotter, it will use more water. So you try basically and push as much of the water from the steam turbine back in and anything excess you dump. It's the easy way to kind of do it. So thank you very much for watching this episode, and when we come back, we're going to make a steam turbine. And then our power problems, well, power problems, we don't have problems, I don't think. I think probably what we've actually done is generated more power in this episode so far. But let's have a look. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Uh, 1396, did that go down? Eek. 1397, okay, it's going up very slowly. Um, but you can see what... Oh, I think we're... Ooh. We do have minor power problems. Um, it's very slowly going down. So having this steam turbine will generate us, I think, like millions of power. So then we don't have power problems anymore. Thumbs up. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.